House Democrats announcing overnight they subpoenaed a resistant special counsel Robert Mueller to appear in public on July 17th. I don't think the special counsel's office uh, would characterize it as a friendly subpoena. Um, he did not want to testify. He made that very clear. But Mueller was very clear speaking to reporters last month. Now I hope and expect this to be the only time that I will speak to you in this manner. Insisting at the time he would have nothing more to say about his nearly two-year investigation into Russian election meddling beyond what was written in his 448-page report. The work speaks for itself. And the report is my testimony. President Trump overnight tweeting simply, presidential harassment. For House Democrats investigating the president, having the Mueller report's drama play out in front of the cameras is a critical piece of their battle to win over public opinion. Our interest is to, for the American people to hear it from him. Uh, there's been a campaign of misrepresentation by Attorney General Barr. Democrats still livid at Attorney General William Barr's attempt to clear the president of obstruction of justice. Evidence developed by the special counsel is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. Even though Mueller explicitly did not. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. Barr also insisted the special counsel found no evidence of collusion. But Mueller simply said there was insufficient evidence to charge a broader conspiracy. Overnight, the president's lawyer, Jay Sekulow, insisting Mueller's testimony won't change a thing. There was no collusion conspiracy with the Trump campaign. That was the legal conclusion reached by Bob Mueller. As it relates to obstruction of justice, as Bill Barr said so perfectly correct legally, no obstructive intent. I don't think you're going to see anything different in his testimony than what's in his report.